help me kind strangers. What are you doing here, woman? One moment I was getting drunk and hit on by this dreamy guy in a bar. And the next moment I'm here in this dark and gloomy mansion. Please get me out of here. Sure. Wait, Jotaro. My game are senses are tingling. Something is not right with this woman. Not that you mention it. You are right. She says she was at a bar getting drunk, but I don't smell alcohol on her. That's not what I meant. Oh, don't be rude to her, lads. Don't worry, miss. We are friends. We'll help you. You are friends? Friends of gender equality. Then why the hell did you hit me? Dude, not only did you forget to hide your vampire fangs, but we can also see your barge. God damn it. So, Nimrod, will you show us where Dio is? Or would you like to get a sunbathing session? Right this way. Pas somnis à ce curtain. Perfect for my foot. Should make easy to move around. Those were made to order by the way. Cost me a pretty penny. Delio. Polnareff. Is a boot time. How did you know? Know what? Oh, never mind. Anyways. I want to congratulate you on being the first one to make it this far. As a prize I'll give you one more chance so serve me. Turn away now and I won't kill you. But if you still want to fight me, get up these stairs. Serving a vampire fuckboy like you was the worst moment of my life. Even if you was against my will. Never again. Is that so? Well then. Come and get me. My pleasure. I see you made up your mind. Welcome back to the squad. Polan Ref. What the hell? I'm definitely going up the stairs. Keep trying, I'm sure it will work sometime, right? But don't worry, I can wait. I have time. When the hell did you get that drink? Oh, this? I grabbed it while you were wasting time trying to get up these stairs. Hee hee hee. You know what? SRW. I guess you leave me no choice. Time to meet your maker. TSK. Did you really need to break the wall for that? Monsieur Jestar, Kakiwan, Jotaro, and Nimrod? Yo. SMH. Well, I'll meet you lovely people upstairs. Don't waste my time, please. So Nimrod, what's upstairs? That's Lord Dio's private chambers. I'd actually never been there. Where do we have a single truth? 
Wait, before we go, I noticed one thing. Hey Polnareff, where is Iggy and Abdul? They... they're gone. Oh no. God damn it. I see. My list of reasons to kill Dio just got larger it seems. Let's go gang. This might be a trap. Indeed. So after you, Nimrod. Oh Lord Yo. Please forgive me. I had no other choice but to lead them here. I only did this because I believe. In you? Hi. Where is my body? Holy fuck. What the hell? One moment he is talking shit and the next his body is gone. So he was not hallucinating. Similar thing happened to me when he just encoutred the yo. We have to retreat for now. Hurry. To that window. SMH. That sure did give them a scare. Well run as much as you want. But the second the sun sets. I'll start chasing you. So what's the plan? We don't have much time till the sunset. We don't have any chance of beating him till we find out what his stand powers are. So I suggest splitting into two squads. First squad runs away from Dio, trying to figure out his stand powers while backing away. The other squad goes behind Dio as he chases the first one, and you look for any opening in Dio's defenses to jump on him. That's a good plan, Gramps. Indeed. Then let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to Joseph's Supporter Shoutouts. Kikyoin is currently out looking to get us a car, and there is still some time before sunset, so I'll use the time I have to read out your shoutouts. First up is Catherine Pattison. Catherine Pattison says, Hello Joseph and the rest of the Crusaders, I haven't got anything major to say so I'll stick with a simple message of thanks. I've really enjoyed the series and I'm excited to see future projects. Keep up the good work, your kind word and support is very greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoy what's in store next for the channel. Next up is John Cena. Hey there WWE Universe, Invisible Crusaders here with another Fiend Hunt update. We're finally heading towards the Firefly Funhouse, after Bray Wyatt unexpectedly invited us. There, Brian had to face his ex-tag team partner, Rowan, whose stand Redwood made him unable to be moved, and he pummeled Dee Bry. Daniel refused to quit however, and with the help of Bray Wyatt and his stand crazy train, the bout was truly of an immovable object versus two unstoppable forces. The kinetic force was so great that the funhouse began to fall to pieces around us, and Braun sacrificed himself to take out Rowan, the two exploding in a flash of light, leaving no trace of them in the WWE. BTW Crusaders, we wish you all the best in your final battle with Dio. Till next time, Sination. Yeah, we are going to need a lot of luck to beat Dio. Thanks for that. Then we have LOL Scorpion. LOL Scorpion says, Hello once again grandson of Jonathan. As I'm sending to you this message, I'm currently against a wall trying to remain in the shadows where it's a bit fresh. The reason for that is because the heat is absolutely unbearable. It's so hot that setting a foot in the sun would be suicide. There's just this guy next to me who seems to be handling that pretty well. Joseph, do you have any tips on surviving the tough heat of Egypt? Thanks for answering and I'll see you fellas next time. The heat has been picking up the past couple of days and it's killing me. Best thing you can do is staying hydrated and not leaving a well-ventilated building. And last but not least is Salieri. Salieri says, Hey guys, long time no see. We just finished torching the Spanish embassy in London, and the boss's secret stockpile of sexy Japanese cartoons along with it. Sorry for the sparse contact lately, but with Dick's squad chasing after us we couldn't afford to take any risks until we found out the boss's true location for real this time. Now, with that information safely in hand, we just need to find a way to get us all the way over there, and fast. Francesco said he might have an idea of how to do just that, so I'll make sure to keep you all posted. Until then, stay safe you all. It's been a bit salieri, good to see you alive and well. And that was all for today's episode. See you fellas next time. Finally I can get out and play. Hum. Is that Kakyoin and Joseph in a car running away? I don't want to expend too much of my energy. 
Oh, I know. Taxi. Where are you going, sir? Thanks for the car, chump. What the hell? If I'm to catch up with them, I will have to break some rules. I mean, I'm evil after all. Hey, Joseph. That taxi behind us is acting strange. He's speeding just enough for the cops not to care, but he's still an once two other rivers. HE drivers passed yellow traffic lights. And he doesn't use his turn signals. I only know one man who is so diabolical. It's Dio. But we should be fine as long as we keep driving right. That's true. There is no way he is getting us from another car. Are you sure about that? Oh crap. SMH. I just want to chat. But it's fine. I have all of the time in the world you play with you. Mr. Joestar, I think I know how to express what his stand powers are. HE has very limited range, proven by the fact that his car had to get pretty damn close before he used his powers. So hide somewhere and observe him. Sure, but wasn't that Jotaro's and Polnareff's job? I wonder where they are. Really Polnareff? Bikes. Veillons Liga dans le monnaie, tout ensemble du coca. He can just fucking be a car from a stranger like your grand. Good grief. Abdol, Polnareff, Jotaro, Joseph and Iggy. In these short few weeks, we've became close friends, haven't we? The only friends I ever had. So even if it costs me my life, I will figure out Dio's abilities. Kakyo win? Dio. So you finally decided to stop running, I see. You fool. <laughs> Emeralds? As I was running from you, I was scattering my emeralds all over town. But can't you only control one emerald at a time? That's where you are wrong. I can only make one emerald at a time. But I can control an infinite amount of them. Take this deal. Infinite emerald slow. SMH. It's about time I end this tomfoolery. The world. Kyoin. He was flung away in an instant. Is this it for me? Now that I think about it, I didn't even tell my parents that I am going on this trip. I hope they are not worrying about me. How did he manage to dodge all of the emeralds? All at once? Since the first one hit, he got emerald dust. On him. So even if I couldn't see him move, I would have sensed him. Hey Joseph. Your time is up. And all those fucking time pans he is making all the time. It's fucking no wing. Wait, time pans? Dodging in an instant? As if time didn't move. Oh god. I need to tell Joseph. My final emerald slow. Hmm? Kikyoin shot an emerald at me? Please, Joseph. Figure it out. Lamau. It seems that Kakyoin's time finally ran out. Shut up with the time puns, you. Wait, time puns. My wristwatch stopped working. Kikyoin getting donated in an instant. No way, his stand can stop time? Hey, So you figured it out. Well it doesn't matter, because you are still a dead man. Now let me have a taste of that Joe Stower blood. Huh? Is that Jotaro I see? I have to tell him. He jumped of the roof. Gramps, where the hell did you come from? Jotaro listen to me. The secret to Dio's powers is time. He can stop time. The world. It seems that Jotaro is just out of range. Oh well, I'll get Joseph first then. For now I can stop time for only 5 seconds. 
But as my head gets used to Jonathan's body, the time limit increases. And the best part about this stand power, is that the seconds don't pass if I'm not moving. Meaning I can monologue as much as I want. Truly a power fitting a villain. Now Joseph, your granddad's Hamon gave me some trouble a hundred years ago, so I won't take any risks. And kill you in my second's most favorite way, by stabbing. The first being making donuts out of people of course. Useless, 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 useless. And time begins to move again. Gramps, get way Jotaro. Keep your distance. You can't beat him. By the way, Kakyoin shared a similar fate to Joseph here. You bastard. And now Jotaro. It's time for you to die. Dio. Oh, you're approaching me? Instead of running away as Joseph told you? I can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer, can I? Then come as close as you like. Do. 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 Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do. Do. Do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do 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 do